Welcome, I hope you're enjoying uh, refreshments, a Bloody Mary and or a mimosa. Um, and uh, 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 enjoying the entertainment. It's a great morning for us. We're really excited to, uh, to introduce uh, this new, new rogue sport. It's also good to have one more casual day before we suit up. And while I'm mentioning uh, the show, please join us tomorrow at 11.30 when Jose Munoz and Shiro Nakamura will uh, reveal our advanced sedan concept uh, in addition to the official reveal of this 2000. 17 Rogue, uh, Rogue Sport, I should say. Uh, you may have heard us talk about it at previous events, the year of the truck. This really has been Nissan's year of the truck. Early last year, we introduced an all new Titan, an all new Titan XD, an all new Armada, a new Pathfinder, and it's given us uh, among the freshest truck lineups in the entire industry. But a star of our lineup really has been Rogue. We introduced this second generation Rogue and sales have skyrocketed. In fact, in 2015, the Nissan Rogue was the fastest growing nameplate in the entire industry. Now, that may be partially due to the fact that small crossovers have exploded in popularity. But think about this, in 2016, the Nissan Rogue was again the fastest growing nameplate in the entire industry. I'm not sure that that's ever been accomplished before. And we capped it off in December when we sold 40,477 Rogues just last month. The Nissan Rogue was the best selling nameplate in the entire industry, setting full size pickups aside. So let me reiterate the fastest growing nameplate in the entire industry in 2015, the fastest growing nameplate again in 2016, and in December, the best selling nameplate in the entire industry, not counting full size pickups. So uh, we're really uh, excited about the role that we are on, and it's won a number of awards along the way. We thank you for that. But you know, Rogue has also been great for the Nissan brand in addition to just selling, uh, selling the nameplate. 50, over 50% 50 of customers that buy a Nissan Rogue have never owned a Nissan before. So it's really allowing us to extend our brand beyond our current owner base. It's also helping us to drive truck, sedan, and other crossover sales to the point where the Nissan Group in 2016 sold 1.56 million units. It was the best year in the history of our brand. And we in marketing are having some fun too. You may have seen our collaboration with Rogue One, a Star Wars story. It's been a great uh, promotion. Rogue was on the red carpet. It's been a great, uh, a great promotion for us nationally, all the way down to dealer integration, which was really impressive. To the point where while uh, we can't take all the credit for Rogue's success, we certainly are hoping that the new Star Wars sequel later this year is called Armada One. Fingers crossed. But Rogue success really is due to the fact that it's so good at so many things. It's a great value, it's got all wheel drive, it's got a suite of safety features, including forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection. This new 2017 has all new styling inside and out. So um, we think that this momentum is just going to continue and the small crossover popularity is only going to grow which is why this new 2017 Rogue Sport is such a natural extension of our SUV lineup. So to tell you more about this product specifically, let me introduce Nissan North America's Vice President of Product Planning, Mike Bunce. Mike, let's show him the Thank new you. Rogue Sport. Let's pull the drapes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Phil. What do you guys think? Great looking vehicle. I think you'll notice right away when you look at the Rogue Sport here on my right and left, the family lineage and the similarities with the Nissan Rogue on our far right, as, as Phil just talked about, have been a tremendous success for us. But also, I'll talk about, more importantly, some of the key differences and give you a little bit of background about why we're bringing Rogue Sport to this market. This is really an extension of the Rogue lineup as a different vehicle. We have many buyers that come to our showrooms, quite honestly, they look at Rogue, 333,000 purchasers last year, in the calendar year. They look at Rogue and some of them want something a little bit more. They want a little bit more vehicle. They want more performance. 
maybe more room, and they move up to an Armada, they move up to a Pathfinder. However, when they come to our showrooms and they see Rogue and they want something maybe a little sportier, or they don't necessarily need all that cargo room, or unfortunately today, they go elsewhere. And that elsewhere is other brands, and believe me, that drives me crazy, it means it drives my boss of Nashville all the more crazy. So we looked very carefully at our global portfolio, and we found here with the Rogue Sport, the perfect vehicle that fits our needs for a smaller, sportier, more agile Rogue. The vehicle will start arriving in dealer showrooms this spring. When we showed our dealers a few months ago, believe me, they can't wait to get their hands on it. Now, for many of you, you probably know, and I talked to some of the, the journalists in Japan this morning, many of you know this car is called the Nissan Qashqai. It's no secret overseas. And actually, that includes our neighbors to the north in Canada. They're going to use the Nissan Qashqai name. But here in the US, we believe Rogue Sport makes perfect sense. We've built, as Phil just mentioned, tremendous equity in the, in the Rogue brand. And also keeping in mind, the two vehicles, the Rogue and the Rogue Sport, share a lot of common components, including our common global platform, the CMFA. So you might ask yourselves, well, why didn't we bring Rogue Sport to this market? The compact crossover segment's on fire. Well, actually, we've been focused as Nissan North America in building the Rogue brand and the Rogue name nor was the market to the point it is today. However, the ever-increasing shift of cars to crossovers finally drove our decision to bring this to our Nissan showrooms in the United States. Now, you could ask yourself, well, won't it be confusing to consumers? Two cars that look quite similar in size and name, will it be confusing to consumers? We don't think so. Why? We'll separate themselves primarily based on customer need. Rogue Sport, will be ideal for singles, for couples without kids and empty nesters who want a smaller vehicle and can live with a little bit of less cargo space. So in reality, beginning in spring, it will not just be about finding a Nissan Rogue, but it will be about finding the right Nissan Rogue to meet your needs. So now I'll cast your attention to two vehicles on the right, the blue, the Nissan Rogue, and the, and the silver, the Nissan Rogue Sport. We'll talk about some of the key differences between the vehicles. First off, the wheelbase. The Nissan Rogue is two inches shorter in wheelbase. Total length, a foot, 12 inches shorter. And what that does is it reduces some of the rear cargo space. In the rear of the Rogue Sport, we have 23 cubic square feet of cargo. In Rogue, 32, so about nine different. However, when you fold that second row seat down in the Rogue Sport, the cargo space comes up to a very respectable 61 cubic feet. So we think each vehicle will uniquely meet, meet the needs of each customer. Rogue Sport for drivers and their stuff. The Rogue for drivers, their stuff and their family. Either the extra cargo room or the optional third row available in Rogue today. Now we have a, a, an optional or an available divide in our cargo system which will be available for both vehicles. In terms of powertrain, Rogue Sport will offer a two liter direct inject gasoline engine that will put out 141 horsepower with excellent throttle response. And when you get to drive the vehicles, you'll notice immediately off the bat that Rogue Sport has much sportier handling, both in maneuverability and feel. And this is thanks to a number of things. One, the smaller dimensions. <coughs> but also, of course, mass. The car is about 300 pounds lighter. And then lastly, unlike many of the competitors in the subcompact segment who offer a beam axle, Rogue Sport will come standard in the US with rear multi-link suspension. Those are some of the differences. So let's talk about the, the commonalities and the similarities, which are numerous. First off, Nissan Intelligent, uh, Nis Nissan Intelligent Safety Shield technologies are common between two vehicles. Rogue Sport will be offered with intelligent cruise control, forward emergency braking, and pedestrian protection. Lane departure warning, but prevention will also be offered, as will blind spot detection. Both cars will be offered as Rogue is today, with Nissan Connect available with both mobile apps and intelligent embedded Nissan Connect uh, telematics. And like Rogue, Rogue Sport will be offered in three grades. We'll have an S, SV, and SL. We'll offer Rogue Sport both in front wheel drive and all wheel drive drivetrain configurations. Now, you're probably wondering the obvious question about pricing. Pricing we're not going to announce today. We'll talk about pricing closer to the on-launch date or the launch date of the car in spring of this year. 
but I will tell you, we've looked at the numbers, Rogue Sport will be extremely affordable in the United States market and extremely competitive with what's out there today. Now, I'd like to thank you for taking time to join us this morning. I would ask and remind you again to please respect the embargo timing. And as Phil mentioned, tomorrow at 11.30, we'll have a debut of our sedan concept vehicle. That will be done by our chairman of Nissan North America, Mr. Jose Munoz, and Mr. Shiro Nakamura, head of global design. And then later in the day at 3 p.m., I think it is, uh, we'll have the automobility keynote address will be given by Mr. Carlos Ghosn, and he will talk about uh, autonomous, connected electric vehicles, current and future mobility. Now with that, I'm going to talk, hand it back to Dan, who's going to join me back here, and he'll help to facilitate any questions okay. you have for I, or the team, or the other members yeah. of the Rogue Sport team. Yeah, bring members. up Thank some you. of the other team members, please, from uh, Rogue Sport, Rogue and Rogue Sport. We have Robin Morio uh, from Product Planning, Ty Webb from Marketing, and Rich Miller, also Product Planning. Uh, where, anybody else? No? I can not hardly see. Okay, so uh, these guys will all be available. Uh, we invite everybody to come on up and take a look at the vehicle. Uh, that said, remember the embargo, 12.01 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, make sure also, one thing you left out, you have to join us at Chelly's tomorrow night. Oh, yes, yes. You know, make sure there's uh, invites uh, by the door, and we also have them as well. So uh, please come on up and uh, join us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.